Hello everyone. So today I'll be showing you five ways of how to clear your Chrome browser cache data. And the reason why I thought of doing this video is because yesterday actually I ran into a very annoying issue that uh, happened to me. It was on YouTube actually, where I, after signing in uh, with a couple of uh, different Gmail accounts, it was basically failing to sign me in into any of those accounts anymore. It was a very very annoying issue. It was very weird. It never happened to me before and after doing some digging it turned out as in many other situations to be just a caching problem. So today I will be showing you five different ways and it's very helpful uh, in fact to uh, know all of these ways because they differ in aggressivity basically. So the thing is when, when you have a caching issue the first thing you want to do is not just erase your entire cached browsing data. That might be annoying, you know, clearing everything, all the data that you have cached since the beginning of your browsing history is not very convenient sometimes. You would lose your autofill information, all of your cookies, all you'll be signed out of all of your accounts, you'll lose your uh, history data. So if you don't want to do that, it might be annoying to have to do it just to fix a small issue. So I'll be showing you exactly five different ways today on how you can address caching issues in the Chrome browser in, uh, in the order of least aggressive to uh, most aggressive. All right, so let's begin. So the first thing uh, you wanna do is, let's say you are uh, having an issue on a specific website you don't want to rush and clear all of your uh, entire uh, cache before first verifying that this is a caching issue that we're dealing with. So the first thing you want to do actually, and the first thing you want to try is to fire up a new uh, Chrome incognito window, test that website in the incognito window, and if the issue uh, doesn't happen, then it is most likely a caching issue. If you want to do a quick test and just the incognito window does that for you, then you're s all set up. But if, you know, uh, like me yesterday, for example, with a signing, um, signing in issue that happened to me, that didn't cut it. So the next, the next thing you want to try is to actually fire up the uh, Chrome developer tools. You can do that by pressing the uh, F12 key on your keyboard. Then you can go to the, uh, you should go to the application tab here and on the left side you'd see a section called clear storage here you can you can go to the bottom where it says clear site data you have a few options here as well uh, so you can actually be very specific here and um, delete very specific stuff the good thing about this method it's is that it's not very aggressive because it will delete the cache data for this specific website only and not all of your cache data for all websites of all time. Alright, the second method that I would like to show you uh, is also not very aggressive uh, and it is convenient I think. To access it you should uh, again press the F12 key and then go to this reload button at the top left corner here and then press it and hold. Then you have three options normal reload, hard reload, uh, and the third one is empty cache and hard reload. So we want to do the third one and that should reload the website while emptying the cache. So these methods would actually address um, most of the caching issues for some websites but for some reason and in my experience some related uh, issues that are related you know, to caching don't get resolved by uh, by these uh, methods weird enough. And in that case, you might want to try something else. The first thing you wanna try is to actually do this, go to uh, the Chrome settings, more tools, and click on clear browser browsing data, but a very convenient way to do, to access it is to just press Control, Shift, and Delete. And that will get you directly to the clear browsing data dialog here and then and then you'll have the option to specify you know what you want to try to clear here you can be very aggressive and select everything here 
but I would advise you know if this issue only happened to you recently just go with the maybe at least you know last 24 hours clear the data and then uh, see if that solves the issue you don't have to you know to be very aggressive and select all the time as a, your first option and the last method is to actually set up a Chrome extension if uh, you are a web developer that is always testing uh, and doing some modifications to a website you are developing it can be um, very inconvenient to always you know have to access that dialog box and go and you know select the settings and press enter so the final method uh, that I would suggest to you in that case is to install Chrome extension called clear cache you can find it of course here very easily is the first search result when you type that I'll give you a very quick look on the options so uh, what you do uh, in the extension uh, options is that you select the uh, data that you wanna uh, purge when you press the on the extension button uh, here and the time period and that's it then every time uh, that you want to clear the the cache data with the, with the settings that you've already set up you just go here and press uh, this icon here and that's it and you're all set uh, that is all guys thanks a lot for watch for watching this video um, please you know if you like the, the content uh, like comment and subscribe to the channel and that's it I hope you have a great day see you in the next one